Welcome to Grand Prairie Update. I'm Terry Briggs. And I'm Don Johnson. It was like Christmas in January at the Prairie Paws Adoption Center when two truckloads of pet food arrived, courtesy of a donation from the Grand Prairie Sam's Club Warehouse. Sam's continues to be a big contributor to the center, and this donation included varieties of dog and cat food. The food will be distributed to pet rescue groups, charities, and individual pet owners who need assistance. Officials say that the timing couldn't be better because this is the time of year when the need at the shelter increases, and not just for food. We can always use newspaper for bedding for the animals. We use comforters, sheets and blankets. Uh, we can use pillows, sanitizer, soaps, bleach. Any kind of donations like that that can help with the cleaning here at the shelter, uh, we always welcome donations. For more information about the donation program, you can contact Prairie Paws at 972-237-8575 or go to the city's website, gptx.org. What's better than a bowl of hot, flavorful soup on a cold winter day? How about soup that raises money for needy families in Grand Prairie? That's the idea behind Soups On for Love, a charity event to benefit the Lifeline Shelter for Families. On the menu, a handful of recipes, including one from city manager Tom Hart. All of it fresh from the farmer's market. So this soup is not only delicious, it is healthy. And I doubt if I'll actually get many people to believe I cooked it, because it does taste good. The Lifeline Shelter provides food, housing, and other assistance to Grand Prairie families. The organization depends on donations and fundraisers, revenue that is shrinking even though demand is rising because of the sluggish economy. The need has been there from our beginning in 2003, but it's uh, growing and as Lifeline's uh, reputation has spread, uh, we have more and more requests, and I think the downturn in the economy in the past couple of years has really added to the burden that people have and uh, the issue of homelessness. For more information about the shelter, go online at lifelineshelter.org or call 972-642-7744. A Hollywood premiere party is the setting for this year's Grand Prairie Community Awards Dinner. The Chamber of Commerce presents the awards to businesses, civic groups, and individuals who are improving the quality of life in the city. Here's a look at the winners for 2010. Grand Prairie is offering local artists a chance to showcase their talents with a contest for the city's next holiday ornament and a new competition at Market Square. The 2011 Holiday Ornament Contest is strictly for youngsters. Anyone aged 19 and younger can enter a design. The entries are due no later than April 29th. A panel of judges will select the best design, and the winner receives a complimentary ornament. First Lady Janice England started the ornament contest in 2004, and all proceeds from sales go to local charities. For more information about the ornament contest, go to the city's website at gptx.org or call 972-237-8086. The Market Square contest happens on May 21st and is open to both youngsters and adults. The city and the Grand Prairie Arts Council are sponsoring the competition as part of a new art show. 
All hanging media will be considered including oil, acrylic, watercolor, pastel, mixed media, drawing, and photography. Artwork should focus on the theme farmer's market and or market square. Cash prizes for first, second, and third place and best of show will be awarded in both student and adult categories. And the winning creations will be displayed every Saturday when the farmer's market is open. For entries and rules, go online at artsgp.com or call 972-642-2787. Hot off the printing press, it's the 2011 Grand Prairie City Calendar. As always, a panel of judges selected the photos for the calendar after looking at hundreds of entries sent in by the public. The 2011 City Calendar is free and is available at several locations. For more information, visit the city's website at gptx.org or call 972-237-8000. The start of a new year gives us a chance to review the top accomplishments of 2010 and the top goals for 2011. That's it for this edition of Grand Prairie Update. Remember, you can also watch all our Channel 16 programs by going to the city website at gptx.org slash gptv.